These committed, inspirational people showed how they were determined to achieve their dreams. In film four, we continue the journey. On Oak Valley Wine Farm, there is a whole community working together in harmony. Right, Alessa was saying that she grew up in a place called Toast River. She was one of five children. But that day, the Nelson Mandela walked up the steps of the city hall and addressed the crowds at the Grand Parade. It was one of the most amazing days of my life. Lola works at African to Wild Wine Farm, but she is also the chairperson of Unique Trust for the Workers. We owners of our own land and uh, we have the community hall who was preschool before and we also have uh, vineyards from our own. I was born in uh, on a, on a wine estate and my mother, well, my father got separated and my father couldn't properly look after me who was one year old. He had difficulties uh, on the farm, the farm had difficulties with my father working on the farm and look after me. Um, he called in the welfare and we were taken away for a couple of years. I felt as the shackles that just come forth and we howled. I mean, we actually cried. It was so touching that here, this man, whom we have heard after so many years, we couldn't see his picture, we couldn't sing the national anthem, we couldn't mention his name because he was considered to be a terrorist. So if you Alessa always um, wanted to be a social worker. Quite interesting now is that she's heading up the, the Woman on the Farm initiative on, on Oak Valley, which deals primarily with women and children against violence. Um, and she's also heading up as chairman the Workers' Society. So, I think indirectly she certainly achieved her goal. I'm not a person that give up hope so easily. And, and that is what brought me to, to Valafonte. And here I am proud to be part of a team that is that are making one of the best wines in the world. Some didn't realize their dreams, but many surpassed them. When I grew up, um, I want to be an uh, actress. And, um, but unfortunately, I didn't become an actress. I didn't realize that I would stand here, be a receptionist, also be a chairperson on my own piece of land. Edward's dignity was born through the older generations who passed on their wisdom, even in times of difficulty. I used to sit among the old, the old age, you know, they, I, I call them the wise men. And uh, I listened to their stories and, you know, they helped me to understand life better and open my mind and see things differently. Integration has worked very well in some projects in South Africa. It was a great year for me and a great year for me. Two letters efforts, we actually implemented the the medical scheme for, for women on the farm as well from approximately five years ago and that's all due to, to Alessa's efforts. I did have the optimism that things can be better and uh, I had dreams and I think uh, I felt like in the old regime that even though we were oppressed I felt like um, I can still be, uh, reach my goals I, the dreams that I had I can still make them come true. I told myself to to push myself to hard enough to, to reach my goals. And one of the goals is that the struggling will end with me.